Hello Sagittarius, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your June 2021 mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, I've included my website link down below. Click on it, get yourself set up and we'll get to it as quickly as we can. Also, please remember to check your sun, your moon and your rising sign as sometimes they connect better than just your sun sign. And last but not least, I am doing the love and money video this month and I'm going to combine the two. It's something I kind of thought about to do. I'm going to draw three cards for love and three for money on the same video. Please let me know what you think about that. If you like it, we'll try to keep it going. Um, and if not, we'll go back to the old way and, <laughs> and get them when we can, however it works out for you, for us. Okay, it looks like the disappointments from the past are going to be a thing of the past. Oh, I, I, that's, I know that sounds like a riddle, but it's like uh, repeat. It's not going to be repeated again. It looks like the the answers to some of the things that have gone on, disappointments, being laid off, you know, whatever shortage of money, it looks like those things are going to be coming to an end and a change of, a, a, just a ch change of things flowing for you. It looks like new beginnings are definitely possible. In fact, I feel some of them are already in the works. Moving has been, a, and travel has been prominent today for all the signs. Both of those look like they could be for you. If you're wanting to move, you certainly will be able to. And it's not that you're going to have to. I feel like it's a choice that you would want to make. And for work, those of you that have been laid off or let go or discontinued or whatever it is, I just feel there's going to be major changes in the workforce for all of us coming up. And so much overdue. Those that want to travel, those that want to see family, it just seems like, you know, I want to say almost the trying times are over, but I don't want to be that brave. It just looks like they're going to get better and continue to get better. Looks like, you know, if we all, <laughs> if we all manifest and picture everything being better, guess what? It's going to get better. Um, sometimes what we think about really can affect the way things are. For instance, have you ever noticed <laughs> when you're in a bad mood and you walk by the doorknob and you get your shirt caught on it? That never happens to me <laughs> when I'm in a good mood. Using that as an example, very small example. But other things can be that way. It seems like, you know, three things come in three. Three good things or three things break. I don't know, it's just kind of like a weird kind of rule for me. So when things are good, again, have gratitude. It'll get you through those times when it's not so perfect. Or look at things and be thankful for what you have, no matter how small. I remember being really thankful one day for a Coca-Cola. Um, and I hadn't had one in months. And it was the weirdest thing. I'm outside working and a friend stopped with it. It was like, wow, that worked fast. <laughs> I didn't know if that was it or not. But using it again as an example is a thought uh, coming into fruition. It says that feeling of being alone for you, I feel that's going to change somewhat. Like you're going to understand that those that are close to you and around you really can be there in a good way. Seems like over the past few months, you've kind of distanced yourself, some of you from your family. That's going to change. It's going to be like, I want this back. I want it to work that way. Those of you that have been working at home and want to go back to work, a lot of you, I believe, will, if you haven't already, will be. And a lot of you people maybe continue to work at home. It might be a new way of doing things. In fact, I have a look at the new ways of shopping. And, and such. It just seems like, you know, things could be very different, but they could also be very positive and very productive for a lot of you, for a lot of us, I should say. All of us are in this together, no matter what sign we are. And it says here too, like, um, I just feel like writing. I don't know if some, some of you are writing books or writing journals or whatever. Sometimes when we can write our feelings down, it can explain a lot to ourselves. That is not a riddle. That is true. So if you are journaling, that's great. But I feel some of you that were maybe an author of some type, this could be a good time to pick up your pen again um, and, ma and make it about you. Like, or what's going on? I think you're going to find inspiration in kind of odd places. And we can't focus on what's gone. We need to focus on the here and now. Um, because I just feel like what we focus on is what's, what we're going to bring to us. So it just says if you're stagnant, um, you know, like in the money situation isn't going really well, do your best to, to focus on having enough income. Maybe even start looking for another job or getting called back to work or something like that. I know it sounds easy when I say it out loud, and I know it can be very trying. 
but it just says a lot of us have been tested <laughs> with patients, with family, jobs, whatever, everything that's going on. And this could be a time to just really reward ourselves. You know, find a peaceful place. Find a place where uh, you can feel good about something. Whether it be at home, at the park, wherever. It just says take a little time for yourself and do what makes, make, gives you a little joy. You know, it might be going on a hike. It might be riding your bike. You know, no pun intended there. I'm just saying find something that really lifts your spirit and uh, do it as much as you can, even if it's just once in a while, because when you've given everything you have to everybody else, you forgot to take care of yourself. Okay, so it looks like things could get a lot better here for you, so you might want to think about those things. And it says, you know, it's almost going to be like we're going to be an apprenticeship learning <laughs> how to get back to doing things the normal way, I think, or the way they used to be, but remember, they certainly could be different than they were before. So have no guilt moving forward. You know what I mean? Like if you're really wanting to look for another job, go look for another job. Whatever it is that, you know, is making you uh, motivated or you want to do something, the time is now to, to really put into progress some of those thoughts you've had over all this these months of kind of not doing a whole lot. And it says victory certainly can be yours. So don't have an excuse or don't, you know, say, oh, I can't move forward. I can't do this. Things aren't just the way they're supposed to be. Picture them the way you want to be and then do the best you can to move forward. And with that said, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. I so appreciate you dropping by Sagittarius and see you again next month.